Mac 10 was added to Cold War and Warzone in Season 1. It's the new most OP SMG in the game. It's got the highest fire rate, high damage, and the highest TTK of almost all of the guns in the game. So this is my weapon guide for it, giving you some tips on how to use it the best, and some best classes for it in Cold War and in Warzone. So, like we've already said, it's a pretty insane gun, but it's not the easiest to use at the start, which might put some people off. Just because the recoil on it is quite high, and you don't have many bullets in your magazine. But once you've got it leveled up all the way, and you've got the best class for it, it's one of the best guns in the game. It's super easy to use once you've got all the right attachments on it. Like I said, we're going to be going over that best class a little bit further into this video. But first, I'm going to give you a few tips on how to use it the best in general, and how to get it leveled up really quickly. So the best way which I did it was playing in Hardpoint on Nuketown. Nuketown's obviously one of the fastest maps in the game, so you can get the most kills in a single game, giving you loads of weapon XP. And if you do it on a dub weapon XP weekend, or if you use a new dub weapon XP tokens inside of the game, then you will get loads of XP every single game doing it super quickly. But the best way to use this gun in general is to play super fast and aggressive. Get right up to the enemies, because if you are right in front of them, they will really struggle to outgun you with this gun, because it is super high damaging at that close ranges. There isn't many guns in the game which can outgun you, can do more damage than this one, so that is the best way to play it. Try and sneak around behind the enemies if you can, flank them, get in a bit of a spawn trap, because this way you will get loads of kills super easily, because they'll keep on running into the building or wherever you are waiting for them, and they won't be able to outgun using the weapons they're using, because this one, like I said, is the highest damaging at close range in the game at the moment. The hardest part by using this gun is just getting into position to get some kills, because the recoil on it is so bad when you first get it with no attachments on, you will struggle to get any kills that aren't at super close ranges, so what you need to really focus on is getting into those positions where you can get loads of kills, otherwise if you keep on challenging at longer ranges, you'll never actually get any decent amount of kills in a life, you got like one and then die, just because you can't outgun ARs at that sort of ranges, you have to be at close range, where you can just hip fire and completely outgun them with your really powerful close range SMGs. But once you're in a good position, you should be able to get loads of easy kills, even if you don't have any attachments on it, just because the base stats of this gun are super good and better than most of the other guns in the game. But once you're right leveled up to the max, the best class you want to be using in multiplayer is on the screen now. It's a SOCOM Eliminator Muzzle, a Task Force Barrel, a Field Agent Grip, the Salvo 53 Round Fast Mags and the Airborne Elastic Wrap. Then for your perks, you're going to want to run Perk Greed and you're going to want Flak Jacket, Tack Mask, Assassin, Tracker, Gung Ho and Ninja. This class makes it super accurate and better at range. I'm not running a laser on it because I don't think you really need it because it's super close range as a hip fire is already accurate enough anyway and you don't need an optic on this either because the iron sights on it are super good at medium ranges as well. The perks that I'm running lets you stay protected from explosives and stuns, keeps you quiet whilst you're sprinting around and allows you to shoot whilst on the move so you can run faster and get more kills. Because I'm not running Ghost, you can still be seen by UAVs but I think that being able to run faster and get more kills whilst running is more important because I think you should be able to outgun anyone who's rushing at you anyway with this gun because it is so powerful at close ranges. Then moving on to Warzone, it's more or less the same but just with a little change to the class. This gun needs to be used as your close range indoor rushing class just like you would do with most of the other SMGs inside of Warzone. You can run it with a sniper if you really wanted to but for my playstyle, I'd rather run it with an assault rifle, use this as my super close range gun then use my assault rifle as my medium range gun but if you are someone who likes to run a sniper and an SMG you can obviously do that as well with this one and it probably is the best class you can be using to replace your mp5 or your r9 shotgun on any class that you have at the moment basically just use the same strategies that i suggested for multiplayer playing extremely aggressively and up close so don't try and challenge with this gun at too far ranges you can get a little bit of damage at medium range with it if you really want to but i'd really recommend just saving this gun for your close range fights it doesn't always perform that well at further distances but the best class you want to be using inside of warzone is very similar to the same one that we had in multiplayer but you are going to to change one thing on it that is changing a SOCOM eliminator muzzle for the agency suppressor this is because you don't really need that insane accuracy if you are using at close range but the agency suppressor is more important inside of warzone because it will keep you quiet and undercover and inside of warzone the agency suppressor actually increases the damage range on it it doesn't do this inside of cold war multiplayer but inside of warzone it acts like a monolithic suppressor does so you really want to be running this because that increased damage at range does really help inside of warzone so that is my full weapon guide for the Mac 10 inside of Cold War and Warzone. If you want to see a gold guide for this one, make sure you let me know in the comments. If it has been helpful, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see any gold weapon guides for all the snipers or the MP5, make sure you check out the place which is linked on the screen now. Those weapons that I've done so far, and I will be covering all the other weapons in the game as well. So make sure you subscribe to see all of that. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.